validate data stored on crypto ledgers called blockchains. And one of these ways is called staking. Investors lock up their tokens in escrow and help validate the next block of data. That people will thrive if you set them free, if you trust them and set them free. So I take that to, okay, that's sort of the big picture. Um, and so there are countries and they're, they're sort of competing for us. If that's the law of the land, then of course you would expect those exchanges with that kind of clarity to relist XRP. And so that's, that's the good news, I think, if happens. Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just Dre extra, extra. Bullishness, shout out to the latest sub, appreciate you stopping by. Stuffing some bags, go ahead, throw on those moon suits, those pilot shades, buckle up. There's a futures, extra, extra. Bullish, let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today. 1.06 trillion down about 4.1 percent in the past 24 we had xrp in that number six spot right around 38 cents up about 0.6 in the past hour down 4.6 in the past 24 we got stellar in the number 29 spot right around eight and a half cents btc 21 700 eth right around 15 hundo and we got flare networks here in that number 100 spot right around four cents down about 2.3 in the past 24 we got songbird still right around one Set in that number 251 spot. Brad Garland House says, stepping back for a moment from what's happening in the U.S. Just in the last few weeks, the number of positive or at least headed in the direction of clarity. Global regulatory developments is energizing. Continuing its history of being tech forward, Dubai just published an extensive new set of tech agnostic rule books for crypto market participants covering compliance standards, advertising, issuance, and much more. Australia's Treasury is looking to reform licensing and custody for crypto and bolster consumer protection. We also got UK, South South Korea, the list goes on. All roads lead to the bridge. XRP interoperability. Eleanor Terrett says Scoop Gary Gensler is embarking on a midnight massacre in the attempt to bring all of crypto under his control in the coming weeks. The SEC Gov, NYDFS, and the USOCC will be bringing a myriad of enforcement actions against exchanges. Banks, get ready for some more downside. Gary says today, SEC Gov charged Kraken for the unregistered offer and sell of securities through a staking as a service program. Whether it's through staking as a service, lending, or other means, crypto intermediaries must provide the proper disclosure and safeguards required by the corrupt SEC. Validate data stored on crypto ledgers called blockchains. And one of these ways is called staking. Investors lock up their tokens in escrow and help validate the next block of data. Some stakers are then rewarded with new tokens. Staking, though, can be complicated and time consuming and can take big upfront commitments of tokens. There's also the risk that you won't get new tokens even if you stake. Thus, crypto entrepreneurs started offering what's called staking as a service. No, not like the steakhouse. Basically, if you transfer your tokens to a staking as a service provider, they take control, possibly pooling your tokens with thousands or millions of others while promoting returns. If there's Gary don't want you with those generational wealth bags. Of course, the banks inform their puppet Gary to ban staking in the U.S. because they don't want regular citizens receiving 5% APY when the banks only offer 0.000001%. APY. Tom Emmer says to be clear, staking enables more people to participate in the building the next generation of the internet. Gary Gensler's regulatory purgatory strategy hurts everyday Americans the most, leaving them in the dust while these opportunities are accessible offshore. It's time to drain the swamp. Free the standard. Eleanor Terrett says so. Gary Gensler has been releasing the Victory Lab videos in conjunction with most major SEC Gov settlement announcements. Kim K, Genesis, Gemini, Kraken. When does he have the time to make them? Settlements have to be voted on by the commission in yesterday's closed meeting. This is all a show to shake you out of those real big utility bags. Bags packed. Against her on CNBC takes a victory lap for his crack in settlement. He says 330 million Americans are our clients. 
John Dean says he's not a good guy. He's doing the bidding for his incumbent friends after he weakens the industry leaders, Coinbase, Kraken, BlockFi, etc. Incumbents will get a big slice. And once that's done, the SEC will become more agreeable. Guess there will be rewarded somehow. Anders X says I couldn't agree with him more. Internet equals the freedom of information. Crypto equals the freedom of value. The, my best example is Korea because um, Korea was split in half. There was North Korea and South Korea. North Korea had a government that decided to control everybody and tell everybody what to do. And they were, you know, Marxist, socialist, communist group. And all those people did worked along that program. In uh, South Korea, they set people free. They trusted them. They built a democracy. They were capitalistic. They were uh, free market, open borders. And today, it's been 70 years. Today, the average South Korean now makes 460 times what the average North Korean makes. And the average South Korean is now four inches taller than the average North Korean. Um, so it's pretty clear to me that that people will thrive if you set them free, if you trust them and set them free. So I take that to, okay, that's sort of the big picture. Um, and so there are countries and they're, they're sort of competing for us. Some are putting down and saying, with weak leaders, are saying, no, you all have to do exactly what we tell you to do. And some are saying, we trust you, we're going to set you free. And uh, and we have a new technology now, and it started with Bitcoin and now the blockchain smart contracts and DAOs that are set to completely transform society. And the weak governments are the ones saying, oh, we have to stop this. It's a horrible thing. What are we doing? I, I want to keep controlling people with my own currency and my own banking system and my own whatever. And then there are the strong governments, strong leaders who are saying, let's embrace this. Let's trust our people. Let's set them free and let's build something of great value. And 40 years from now, those governments are going to be the ones that make 460 times what the other governments are making and are the ones who are four inches taller. Drain the swamp. Free those XRP bags. We got the evidence. Get those jumpsuits. Get those jail cells ready, Gary. You still there? Since Gary Gensler won't abide by his own policies to come in and talk to the House, GOP will hold him accountable today as promised our oversight of the SEC gov begins with our request of documents surrounding their interactions with SBF, FTX, FTX officials and the Justice Department. Gary Gensler, the SEC, must be held accountable. Clarity and regulation worldwide foster adoption and accelerates the growth of XRP in the whole ecosystem. Big Brad Garland House, they know what's coming. We know what's coming and they can't stop it. What does a ripple win look like? The, the first outcome possible is that the SEC gets an outright win. I know you want to start okay. with a positive, but that's the yeah. first <laughs> negative result, right? Yeah. And then a second option is that the is that ripple uh, gets a flat out victory. And then, of course, there's a third option where there's a partial summary judgment granted in part and denied in part. Oh. And, and that could be a split. And then finally, there's a fourth outcome that it's a split, but also a jury trial could necessarily be needed for certain issues. Oh. The only two issues that I foresee a jury trial where the judge could say this particular issue needs to be decided by a jury is if we get to the fair notice defense, mm -hmm. right? Ripple even said in their papers, Paul, that that the fair notice defense, whether or not Ripple received adequate and fair notice, that that's a jury question for the jury to decide. Now, hopefully the judge doesn't get that far, right? Because hopefully she never rules on fair notice defense because it's an outright victory. So back to your question, though. Uh, let's say that there's a, either an outright Ripple win or the judge says that Ripple offered an unregistered security in 2013, 2014 and fines them for that. But that okay. today, ongoing and future sales of XRP are not considered securities. Okay. Either one of those are a great victory. And so then the question is, what would the SEC appeal the decision would they then want to go to the second circuit and i don't think they would right the interesting okay. question the most interesting question about all this paul is what you're getting at which is okay john what's what happens on the ground 
if Ripple wins or they're held to only violate the law in some very early years, some very beginning sales, uh, but today's XRPs and future XRP sales are not securities, what happens? Well, you yep. we would see some price appreciation one would expect. And whether or not Coinbase, Crypto.com, Kraken, uh, yep. Binance US, Get the, the question is, what do they do? Do they relist? If the SEC doesn't appeal the decision, then the law of the land is Judge Torres, and you would think that they would relist, right? Especially in today's environment, where you have the SEC and Gary Gensler saying, oh, there's so many tokens or securities. If you've got clarity on XRP, and there is no appeal, and Judge Torres's decision that XRP is not a security, if that's the law of the land, then of course, you would expect those exchanges with that kind of clarity to relist XRP. And so that's that's the good news, I think, if happens. I would doubt that the SEC would appeal a decision if they get a split win, the early sales or securities, but today's sales are not, because, because Ripple has a really good argument on appeal and conservatives like the Supreme Court are very conservative and they could go back and revisit Howie and put the SEC out of crypto completely. The show's almost over. Time is limited. Load up. Oh, you still have some time. XRP hidden in plain sight, getting ready for the transformation of all value. XRP hit 375 by target on the 11 fib for wave C. It's so close to the major 0.5 support that I believe that the target is still in range at 366 until BTC finds support. Also, even though BTC subwaves are complete, I believe that the DXY is going to push BTC further down to the 382 fib at 21.2k, which should have been the subway target anyway. This fib is a buy. Keep an eye out on the DXY for 104.5, still three waves away. Bitcoin, XRP. Break in flare drop monthly distribution chart. Flare drop distribution will be available to claim at 12 UTC every 30 days. Also, Songbird test proposal 02 at a secondary band to FTSO reward calculation. The voting process aimed at improving the decentralization of the Flare Times Oracle is open on the Flare portal. With that being said, Bagman and Bag Ladies will catch you at 420 PST for the premiere. It's time to power up on some xrp music 432 hertz where will you be when those xrp bags price is finally unlocked catch you up here at the tippy top i am the xrp bagman moon commander currently up here on the mothership stuffing some bags and enjoying the show appreciate you stopping by tuning in smashing those likes for some more moon o'clock news hope y'all continue to stay extra extra foolish out there Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up that bag. And don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top floor. Catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Peace out, crypto ghost. It's the XRP Army. We all heard the calling. You didn't hear it, no, not sorry. We on an island, please don't call me. It's the XRP Army. We all heard the calling. You didn't hear it, no, not sorry. We on an island, please don't call me. The greatest point ever created. The XRP Army, and we all gon' make it. We don't hear no haters, I need.